Right, hello. I want to show you why I think this is such a great tool for teaching geography because it is thoroughly interactive. It's a slideshow, you can um, capture images. It's very good for showing um, with, when you, in geography, we often have to look at processes. Uh, for example, in, if you're learning about rivers, you might need to learn about the process or the formation of a waterfall. So, <clears throat> I can um, show them a film clip, and I can screen. I can choose a point where I'm going to stop the video, and I can screen capture that image. So, um, but first, so first of all, I can sort of ask them, well, um, <clears throat> can you draw the essential elements to the? River long profile, and can we label it? Source up here, the upper course, the middle course, the lower course down here, and the mouth where it enters the sea. <coughs> I can show them a drawing I've already collected, or I've already done. And what's, what I like is that I can develop this resource and after the lesson I realise I needed to change something and I can, um, I can then amend it myself or I can, uh, I can create that slide, uh, a, 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 um, a duplicate and use it with the next lesson and they can, we can review it uh, later and when I come around to teaching the same topic the year later um, I can uh, amend my saved file. So <clears throat> they need to know some of these um, key terms and uh, this I've literally screen captured a um, document I gave them to put in their books and they had to fill them in and so they can come up and the pupils can support each other or uh, we can have a plenary based on this <clears throat> and we can discuss whether these occur each one of these occurs in the upper course or the middle course or the lower course and we can use different colours obviously now moving forward <clears throat> Um, and then, let's move forward a bit, a bit more, we can look at other examples of waterfalls and relate to maybe some work on doing floodplains and flooding and something, some work we've done on rock, different rock types and uh, we can compete and uh, try and work out in, our head, uh, in the class how high we think the highest waterfall might be and then we can, uh, I've just screen captured this from Wikipedia. Um, here's getting into some more about water, different types of waterfalls. That would be slightly more advanced. Uh, some examples of different waterfalls. And some classic images of Niagara when it was dry, even um, showing the hard rock there and the um, river in existence. So, and then I can get them to copy a, uh, a drawing in their book showing hard rock, soft rock, plunge pool, and so on. And then um, we can discuss that and I can explain it. And then using the video, we can actually watch it together. I'll just bring it down a bit. And because it works as a screen, I can I can pause it and I can drag the film forward. At the bottom of waterfalls, you often find a plunge pool. These pools are caused by hydraulic action, where the force of the water erodes the riverbed below. Now I want to go further back, so I'm just dragging it back to review. The, this is the point where I want to concentrate on because it's the, about the formation of the waterfall. Easily than the harder rock above. This creates a drop in the riverbed over which the river falls. Now, I'm just going to escape there. Now, I want to screen capture that. Um, 
So I go back to smart, yeah, and I screen cap. This I find is the really helpful tool because then you can capture anything on the screen. Uh, and then let's get that correct page up. You can you can save a whole page, or if I go back to here, I can draw a window over the section that I want, just going from top left to bottom right and release and it saves straight into a new page in the slideshow and then I can I can resize that if I want to and then we can label that where's the plunge pool going to go it's going to develop at this point here and we can work on that as a class and then I can um, going forward, I can collect a series of the images from that video so that we re uh, review the process from A, B, C, D. Um, and that relates then to the drawing that we just saw. If I want to see which, if I want to skip back here, I can look at it there. So I just find it a terrific tool for the interactive learning, showing processes, uh, being able to um, combine the, 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 the best aspects of a Word document, a, a PowerPoint slideshow, um, something in Publisher, something in a drawing package, something that where you can um, paste in images, label them, um, resize them, uh, and I find it's a terrific tool for geography. Thank you for watching.